All right. We'll do like our pariah. Outcast. <laughs> the pariah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Missing Sock. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto Online news. So today we got a new newswire from Rockstar, new cars. Um, actually, it's pretty good newswire. So we're going to go have a look at that, and we'll come right back, and we'll talk about some other stuff. Yeah, about the newswire, the new cars, uh, what to do this week in contact missions, and... Um, yeah, and what we're doing coming up. I've been gone kind of for a couple days there. I was working on some stuff, just did not work out. Our laid back grinding <laughs> turned back. It turned into laid back uh, dealing with glitches. So I don't know. I didn't post it because it wasn't quite what I was looking for. Oh well. Anyway, we'll go read that newswire and we'll come right back. See you guys in a minute. Yeah. All right, everyone. So here's the uh, latest Rockstar Newswire for Tuesday, May 8th. GTA Online Business Week. It's all business. New vehicles, cash giveaway, two times GTA, money and RP on contact missions and more. Yeah, the GTA Online Business Week. 30% off a range of vehicles. It's actually got a whole lot of stuff that we're going to read down below. Yeah. And money, 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 as you've seen. And double contact missions. <laughs> Southern San Andreas is warding the entrepreneurial spirit of its citizens, whether you're fresh off the plane at LSIA or a long-standing VIP. Everyone who logs into GTA Online this week will qualify for a state-sponsored gift of $250,000. To keep your hustle running like clockwork, they also slide you an additional $150,000 for each subsequent day you log into GTA Online this week, through to May 14th. So earn over GTA over $1 million GTA money for participating every day. Wow. All bonus cash awards will be deposited into your May's bank account between May 15th and May 21st. Now, that's awesome, guys. So, about time. So, you know, I think they could do better, but I think that's pretty good. That's one of the better ones they've done. That's excellent. And uh, I've said in the past that they, they were a little chintzy with some of their stuff, you know, their contests. You know, that the, you know, it made sense years ago, but now we've come to the point where things are, there's so many things and they're, they're so expensive, you know, and that's okay, but raise it up, you know. So, at least uh, here we've got some contests, some, some winnings, like, not contests, but, you know, winnings that you, that actually matter. So, yeah, an uh, extra 250000 and you can make over a million dollars. Yeah, nice. So just log in every day for that extra 150 every time. Now remember that it won't show up till the week after, May 15th to May 21st. Okay, so it won't show up till afterwards. All right, awesome. Nice little gift from Rockstar. All right, and new vehicles. The Overflowed, Overflood Tyrant and one I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for both, but this one especially, the Vapid Dominator GTX. Mm, customizable uh, Dominator. All right, well, should we watch the video? Yeah, we'll check out the little promotional video here. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, it's always so loud. But yeah, it's pretty cool. We'll get some volume, maybe. Ooh, see? Ooh. Yep, the tyrant. All right. I didn't get a chance to look up the uh, prices for these two, so uh, maybe I'll look those up uh, on our way back into the game and I'll tell you guys there once we get there. Overflood Tyrant. Not bad at all. The Overflood Tyrant is a testament to human ingenuity. We're not sure who's more impressive. The team of engineers who've taken us as close as possible to installing a gear stick and a steering wheel in front of a hurricane, or the team of lawyers who got it classified as road legal. Take your pick and grab out your Overflowed, Overflood Tyrant today, exclusively from Legendary Motorsport. I'll just reload it here so we can get that picture back. Oh, usually it pops me back there. All right, now moving on, the Vapid Dominator GTX is the muscle car reborn. Hmm. Half brute force, half pristine performance, and all-American. When you're looking to make shockwaves through the streets of Southern San Andreas, look no further. The Dominator GTX, only at Southern San Andreas Super Autos. Which looks nice, we'll see. We'll see. All right, now the bonus money. Double cash and RP on contact missions, Rockstar stunt races, and special vehicle circuit. Since excess is all the rage these days, we're giving you a trio of modes to earn double rewards in as well. Keep an eye on your eye fruit for money-making opportunities for some familiar faces or load up on any contact missions using the in-game menu to earn double GTA money and RP through May 14th. Rockstar stunt races are also dishing out bonus GTA money and RP to all competitors. And double payouts continue to roll on for special vehicle circuit, giving jetpack flyers, Deep sea speedsters and pl plenty of waves <laughs> to profit off their lust for adrenaline. All right, and unlocks on top of that. Let the club know you're packing while flaunting your love for their services with the vanilla unicorn t-shirt. There it is right there. Let's bring it up. Yeah, seeing is relieving. <laughs> vanilla unicorn, gentlemen's club. So you get that shirt and the ammunition cap. Yeah. Decent pictures. 
Yeah, and Black Ammunition Gap. Both free unlocks to all who log in to GTA Online by May 14th. So just log in to get those. Along with 250000 Along with 150000 for every day after. Not bad. And if you're looking forward to Red Dead Redemption 2, after this past week's uh, trailer and previews, and I've yet to unearth a double action revolver in GTA Online, you guys should do that, make sure to check the inbox on, on your in-game iFruit for the first clue to unlocking this antique in both GTA Online and Red Dead Redemption 2. Look for another lost relic from the frontier to be unearthed in Los Santos later this year. Ooh. So we're going to get something else. But it's going to be a rifle. That's what I bet. Something like that. My, that's my guess, like a Winchester type rifle. I don't think we have anything like that. We've already got like, uh, you know, typical shotguns. We don't have anything like that. So I bet you that'll be something. That's my personal guess. Anyway, maybe it'll be a hat. Who knows? <laughs> you never really know, right? Yeah. So uh, we've got the, uh, now uh, don't forget there is the uh, double action revolver. We've also done an episode on our show about how to get that. So you guys might want to do that. That is another $250,000. So basically you would get the gun, quickly load into a mission that has no police officers. You know, certain missions do like gang fights and go around, um, you know, don't even have to kill any, any, you know, just regular pedestrians on the street and get, uh, I can't remember, 100 headshots. And then it, bonus, it rewards you with 250000 So you get the gun. 250,000 in game and it unlocks it for Red Dead Redemption 2 if you play the game later on. So you probably connect to your account and then it would give you that in, in the game too. Awesome. Discounts. You can't rule Southern San Andreas from your mama's basement. You need to own turf. And this week every major business property type is getting a price cut to make your dreams of world domination a reality. Once your business operations are up and running, take advantage of one of several speedy vehicles on sale throughout the week to travel quickly between them. And when it's time to escape the heat, Hop into the flying fortress that is the Mammoth Avenger and leave the LSPD in your dust. <laughs> check, down, check out the full breakdown for this week's discounts below. And there's actually a lot of good discounts. Now, one thing that bothers me is that it says uh, every major business property. I was like, eh, well, I don't see biker businesses on here. <laughs> you know, I see the clubhouses, but I don't see businesses. Uh, every major property, that's a pretty bold statement. And that's not every major property. But nonetheless, it is awesome. It is most of the properties. So we've got ex executive offices and biker clubhouses for 50% off. All yachts and yacht modifications, half price. So if you want a yacht, I mean, now's the time. Some people like them, some people don't. But uh, if you're going to get one, why not do it on sale, right? Or if you want to change any of your decorations, it's half price. Bunkers are 40%, hangers are 40% off, and facilities, the Doomsday facility, is 30% off. So a great time to get any of those as well. Or if you want to change locations, you know, maybe if it bothers you, it's going to cost money with a lot of these locations, but at least it saves you money when you do it on sale. Like changing offices when it's on sale is a great time to do it. If you want to upgrade to the, uh, to the, uh, the tower or something like that, or the Arcadia Center. Yep. Or like me, to the beach at Lumbank West. On the ground, mobile operations center, 30% off. Hmm. So you have the MOC truck, 30% off. Uh, Armored Karuma is 30% off. And I noticed there's actually some old ones in here, which is kind of good, I guess. Like, they're throwing around some different ones, so that's good. So we've got the uh, the MOC, the Armored Karuma, 30% off. Nagasaki Shitaro, so that's the uh, Tron bike, 30% off. Play around a deadline to get that. The HVY Barrage, 30% off. The Ocelot Ardent, 30% off. That was the one that people thought was going to be underwater, but it wasn't. It was a It's almost like a cruel joke on them, but hey, now it's 30% off. Uh, BF Dune FAV, 30% off. Bravado Half Track, they are, are they all 30% They all are 30% off, yeah. Bravado Half Track, the BF Ramp Buggy, Chevelle Taipan, the Ocelot Pariah. We got those a little while ago. That's an excellent sports car. To some people, that's the fastest normal car in the game. Just to throw that out there for the moment. The Picasso, I don't know if those new cars changed that though. Picasso Tabasta, uh, the Grotti, another popular one, the Grotti Cheetah, that's the regular Cheetah, and that's what I mean. That's not the Cheetah Classic, that's the regular Cheetah that's been in the game since the beginning. So the Grotti Stinger, that's another um, throwback. I've got the Stinger GT, which was one of the first online only cars, but this is just the regular Stinger, which is a classic car. So I might actually add that to my collection. But I don't think I've ever seen that on sale before, but yeah, 30% off. Truffade Z-Type. So anyway, if you guys want the Z-Type, a lot of people like that, 30% off. In the Air, Mammoth Avenger, and they are very useful on the MC sales, I find. 30% off. FH1 Hunter, Buckingham Acula, and Western Company Seabreeze, all 30% off. Seabreeze, a lot of people think, is actually a fairly good dogfighter and is actually pretty decent as far as, um, like, like it's, it's surprising how good it is. It's better than you think it is, basically. There is better, but it's actually a pretty decent vehicle. And the Acula, that's the stealth helicopter. That's a definite recommended buy. Um, and the FH-1 Hunter, well, that's definitely some good firepower. To some people, it's one of the best helicopters in the game, but that's debated. You know, the Acula is nice with that stealth ability. 
to hide off the map. And that map uh, hiding map ability does work for everybody inside your helicopter, which is awesome. Normally, when you ghost yourself, um, it quite often will sometimes leave things like your partner who's still visible. Um, you know, if you're carrying cargo to your crate warehouse, you're quite often that cargo still vis visible, even though you're not visible, the cargo is showing up on the map. Well, on the Akula, all that's hidden. Just throw that out there for those that have, don't have one yet. I don't have one yet, but I'm going to get one. Maybe this week. Hmm. Vehicle upgrades, weapon customization, mobile operation center upgrades. So if you want to change your truck, 30% off. Name of the Avenger renovations, 30% off. So if you want to change your Avenger or upgrade, buy one and upgrade it for 30%. Benny's upgrades, woohoo. So if you want any lowriders or any other cars, it's a good time to change that, 30% off. Engine upgrades, handling upgrades, brake upgrades, transmission upgrades, turbo, suspension, spoilers, all 30% off. Nice. And Mark II upgrades, 25% off. So I still have to get into those too. Yeah. Yeah, well, maybe we'll go through an episode on these sides. The pros and cons of the Mark II weapons and the Mark II ammunition. Hmm. But 25% off. Not bad. All right. And the premium race is Night Ride. Different one. <laughs> Competing this week's premium race, Night Ride. Locked to the Ruiner 2000. With a top three year money, uh, top three earn extra GTA money, and all participants finish, uh, get triple RP regardless of finishing positions. Yep. Yeah. And the time trial, Storm Drain. I'll have to check out Storm Drain. And time trials, if for the first time you complete them, give you an extra 50000 Yeah, so they're well worth it as a little distraction. Well, guys, yeah, that, that is the Newswire. And that's actually a pretty full Newswire. I'd like to see them do more like this. This is uh, the way it should be. That's pretty good. It gives you so much choices, like you feel like you can't get it all in the week. You know, and that's the way I think it should be. Yeah, to me. Very cool. Very cool. Actually, a lot, you know, like yeah, plus two vehicles. Woohoo. Woohoo. All right, well, let's head back in game and we'll uh, talk about those prices of those two cars and uh, maybe a little bit about the contact missions and the good ways to make money this week. All right, well, we'll see you back in the game. All right, and we're back. Got all suited up. Got shot at. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Penny. Hi there. I need some snacks. How can I help you? Food. I'll take care of the food. You take care of the company. When you finish what you've got, I'll give you some more. I still kind of prefer like penny snacks to the ones at the facility wherever I can get them. <laughs> Come on, there Are we you go. sure you need more snacks? Yes, I am when sure. When you finish what you've got, <laughs> I'll give you some more. All right. Well, welcome back, everybody. So, yeah, so that is an interesting uh, uh, newswire there. And uh, lots of new unlocks. I'm wearing them right now, so you guys can have a quick look at that. So that is the uh, Seeing as We're Leaving Vanilla Unicorn shirt and the Ammunition hat. And I'm pretty sure you can wear it backwards, too, if you wanted to, too. So, yeah, unlocks are good. Money's good. Yes. Yeah. Now, let's have a look at those uh, car prices. Let's see. Let's start with the uh, Tyrant. Overflood Tyrant. $2.5 million. Whew. Well, that's about what I'd expect. I guess, you know, I shouldn't complain. It's not over $3 million. <laughs> But it's about what I'd expect. All right. Part of the uh, San Andreas Super Sport Series. Seats 2. The Tyrant is a testament to human ingenuity. We're not sure who's more impressive, the team of engineers who've taken us as close as human beings can get to installing a gear stick and a steering wheel in front of a hurricane, or the team of lawyers who got it classified as road legal. Take your pick. <laughs> Same as what we read earlier, but, well, you know. All right, so let's uh, let's have a look at the other one. Came out, and that should be under Southern San Andreas Super Autos. Vapid Dominator GTX, there she is. Seats two, 725,000, so not too bad. Step one, take the best looking muscle car the 60s ever saw and introduce it to the greatest American supercar of the modern era. <laughs> Step two, leave them alone in a quiet garage with a few dozen shots of high octane gas, plenty of axle grease and nothing else to do. <laughs> Step three, the Dominar GTX is born and it's hungry. When your pedigree is this damn good, there's nothing wrong with keeping it in the family. <laughs> All right, and there she is. And I think I'm definitely going to get one of those. Hmm. Yeah, so definitely good buys, although, um, you know, for collectors, but you might want to wait for a sale, but at the same time, there's uh, that's not too bad for this one, 725000 Yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. I'm not sure if these sale prices, but yeah, I'm surprised to see things like the Stinger on there as well, which should be, oh no, it's in, it's in Legendary. It's a fancy grotty, it's not in that other one. Yeah. Yeah, Pariah. On, uh, instead of uh, 1.420, <laughs> it's now 994,000. So that's a good time to get one of those. Awesome car. Yeah, the green one that we had earlier. 
And uh, there's your taro, the tapesta. Yeah, I wanted to see. This stinger's an older one, so it's probably not too expensive. I still want to get myself a blackfin, too. Go get blackfin. Hmm. Mm. Yep, Z type. Usually 950,000, now 665. And there's our grotty stinger. Usually 850,000, and it's 595. Yeah, we already got our stinger GT a while back. But I might want to get the regular one now, if I can get it for cheap. Hmm, why not? And the Dubashi JB700. We were talking about that a little while ago. Why they don't turn on these guns after all this weaponization. I don't think those guns are going to hurt anybody. <laughs> yep. And the regular Cheetah for only 455000 instead of 650 Yeah. All right. Very cool, guys. Very, very cool. So if you want to upgrade your offices or anything, it might be a good time to do it. Um, lots of businesses on sale. That, it's a great time to do all that or any upgrades or changes to your yacht or changes to your MOC or changes to a whole lot of different things. Very cool. Now, um, uh, we were going to talk about uh, contact missions too. Now, you guys can put your, you know, your opinion down in the comments down below what the best contact missions are. Um, but, uh, you know, because they're kind of, they're all very similar. You know, there's certain ones that are longer, but they pay out more. There's certain ones that are shorter, uh, but they pay out less, right? But you can keep on banging them off. So it's a great time to do those uh, races. But I would suggest those contact missions for making millions for the next little while. Just log in every day and you'll get make that uh, extra million plus um uh, and you just have to log in and then turn it off, right? Um, for that uh, reward from Rockstar. And uh, the contact missions, now some people don't know why they're called contact missions, because um, people start on the enhanced versions, but under your contacts, there's all these people. And many of them will give you jobs when you call them up. You can say, request job, and they'll uh, pop up with a uh, request, like that one on the bottom left right now from Martin. So it'll come up with various requests like that. Now that's the old way of doing it on the old consoles, but they're still called contact missions. Usually you don't go through that way. You just press pause, go to online if you're on the enhanced versions, and go to jobs. And then from here, play job. And then from here, usually, you can de depends on what you want to do, but usually Rockstar created, and then missions. And these are usually the contact missions. So in here, and see they're all double money, double RP, and you can pick through them. Titan of a job is a nice easy one. You know, if you got an armored Kruma, kill some guys, take the plane from the airport, and fly to the base and land it. And uh, it should be paying out to oh, at least over 20000 every time you do it, and it's a pretty quick run, you know. But I would might suggest other ones, um, like the, uh, the uh, um, uh, Death Metal, which is in here somewhere, just because it's so quick and easy. It's just around the corner from... Uh, from uh, Gerald's and uh, you just kill a bunch of guys in the scrapyard you can use your Karuma or whatever weaponized vehicle you want kill the guys try not to blow up the uh, the cocaine I think that you're supposed to pick up so you bring up the package to uh, to Gerald's around the corner and that's it and it should actually pay up pretty well like like people might not think so but it's done fast so you can make you know I don't know 10 20 thousand over and over really quickly so it's all about the speed of it not necessarily the payout but the speed of it another great uh, um, uh, contact mission is uh, trash talk and a lot of people will probably promote that one because that's a great one, especially from the air. Just fly around, kill all the uh, the garbage trucks, and then go to their main base and kill them all, and you're done. And it has a great payout. And I think it's one of the best ones um, regularly. Um, now with the double money, it, it should be even better. You know, I'm not sure. I can't remember what the payouts for, were for this, but it should be paying out forty, fifty thousand now. I think because I think it used to pay out twenty thousand or plus. You know. And uh, some of these vary because it depends on how long you take. So the good news is if you take your time, you get paid out more. There is a limit to it. But I don't usually, like some other people, I don't necessarily recommend it. Usually you make better money going through it quickly and, and starting another one again and again and again than you do taking your time. But it's good to know if you take your time in the mission, you'll get paid more money for it. So if you're going to take a break or something doing it in the mission, why not, right? Get paid money for it. So, yeah, that's a good one there. Now, the reason I don't necessarily recommend that one first is because it opens up at rank 81. So, you know, if you have a friend who can bring you in, that's great. But any of the lower players under rank, rank 81 may not be able to access this. So, things like uh, the death metal that we talked about are available at low ranks. So, and like I said, guys, just keep on going through them over and over or create a playlist um, of, of your favorite ones. So just keep going through them. Um, so some of the best ones, we mentioned the Trash Talk and Death Metal. Uh, Rooftop Rumble is another very popular one. And I'd recommend using some kind of armored vehicle if you can help it for a lot of these. Yep. Uh, we'll bring up Rooftop Rumble and Cleaning Cat House. Let's see if we can find that. Rooftop Rumble. There it is, Rooftop Rumble. So that one, you just basically kill some dudes, uh, the professionals, and eventually track down some information, grab it, and you're pretty much done. Bring it to the drop point. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see if I can find another one here. 
Uh, cleaning the cat house. There it is. Yeah. Now, cleaning the cat house, I had never really thought about this. Um, I never did a video for it or anything. Um, but cleaning the cat house, you're supposed to uh, rescue Anna for uh, a girl, for Martin. And uh, you have to kill some guys at this hotel. But actually, there's a really easy way of doing it that I'd heard about. That basically, you just get a helicopter, any helicopter. You know, you can always call in the Meriwether or... Yeah, yeah, the backup helicopter kind of thing, the helicopter ride, and kill the, the driver, the pilot, and take the helicopter if you don't have one yourself, or grab one from the, heli the, the airport. Or hopefully you've got your own buzzard, hopefully get one. Anyway, um, you can land right on the roof of this hotel. Right near, there's a little rubble uh, staircase kind of thing where they can come up, or you can come up in there. Most people know about that inside it. Just land right by it, and Anna will come right up and get in your helicopter, then you fly away. So you don't even have to fight these guys, just basically start the mission, Fly there, land on the roof, wait for Anna, fly away. Done. <laughs> so it's actually pretty easy. All right, so there's a, just a handful of some of the good ones. Um, you know, like I said, you guys can put some notes down below which ones you guys think are good. Um, you know, it's not necessarily about max payout. It's about how quickly you can keep on going through them, right? All right, so that is contact missions. Okay, so I think that's everything on our list. We also talked about uh, laid-back grinding. I was getting it going, guys. <laughs> I really was. But like I said earlier, it just kind of turned into uh, dealing with glitches from Rockstar. <laughs> you know? I went through, and it was a big, long, like, hour part one, you know, and it was problems, and I thought, oh, I'll push through. And I went through to a part two, and, and part two was even worse than part one, just problems and glitches, and it failed to pay me on a cocaine run. Thankfully, I didn't lose any product, so I just ran it again, but it's, you know, frustrating. It wasn't quite our usual laid-back gaming laid back grinding it so i'm gonna try that again <laughs> yeah and i ran out of time for the stromberg and the deluxo but we'll get to it don't worry we're gonna make money this week even more <laughs> so we can buy all that stuff <laughs> all right well yeah i do like the new shirt too and now i can go ammunition hat and shirt because i got one of those too <laughs> all right everybody well take care new day's starting so i better get out there and start making some money yeah We'll talk to you guys soon. I think I'm going to be uh, doing a um, uh, Dominator GTX episode, obviously. That's a pretty cool car. And uh, we'll see about some other new stuff, too, coming up. And finally, Doomsday. Yeah. And the Akula is in there, too. So that's definitely a recommended buy. So I might try to get one of those, too. All right. Take care, everybody. I'm the Missing Sock. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you again next time. Very, very soon. Bye. Just give me the word, and I'll make it happen. That's what I like to hear, Penny. That's what I like to hear. Hello. What do you need? I need a helicopter. As soon as you've decided, I'll get the Pegasus rep to prepare the vehicle. Thanks. Whatever you want, I'll get him to bring it up to the helipad. <laughs> All right, good luck money making, everybody. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good time to change offices, too. That big, um, that Arcadius. Uh, center, which I actually kind of like. It's kind of like my second choice. If I wasn't near the beach at Long Bank, I'd probably go with the Arcadia Center. But I think it's only around a million right now. It's usually two million, so that's a really good buy right now. For the price of the Maze Best Bank, you can live in there. And it's a cool building. It's got a bottom entrance and uh, uh, different ways in, and it's got these elevators that go up and down on the sides of the building. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And then the other big one, the top of the line, the Maze Bank Tower. And that's only $2 million it's for a $4 million uh, office. It's just locations, so though. They don't really matter. But, you know, if you want to be the center of power, it's half price right now. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.